Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to ESET Week. I'm going to be taking a look at ESET's uh, Nod 32 um, version 7, and that's going to probably take me the whole week because I have a number of appointments this week. So I got to split it up into a few videos. Uh, the first um, the first video is going to be um, a configit video. So we're going to download Nod uh, version 7 and we'll install it and I'll show you how I configure it. Now, um, I didn't really pre-test this yet, so I'm, I'm kind of used to uh, configuring Nod from previous versions, so it should be about the same. So let's go ahead and grab a trial of uh, Nod. So let's just do a search. Probably easier just to do search and find what we want this way. So we'll say ESET Nod32 antivirus. Um, yeah, I was wrong. I didn't mean to click that ad. Let me go ahead and click uh, back to ESET. ESET.com. <clears throat> Go to download. And we want a free trial of ESET Nod 32 antivirus. I believe that's the one we want. Yeah. I want a free trial. So this is a good video for, you know, if you just bought ESET Nod32, you heard it's really good, but you're not sure how to actually configure it. That's what these config videos are for. So I'll go ahead and download that trial. This is probably like a little web installer. So, yeah, it's a little web installer, so 1.6 megabytes. I'll go ahead and save that. And we'll just double click on the live installer. We'll go ahead and click next. And it's going to go ahead and download the actual full, you know, ESET Nod32 antivirus installer. It's a little weird. I don't know exactly why they people do that, but I guess they have their reasons. All right. So that uh, actually downloaded the full installer. So let's go ahead and agree to their little license agreement and uh, it asks us if we want to participate in ESET Live Grid. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, basically it's like cloud antivirus scanning. So, And we're going to go ahead and enable uh, protection of potentially unwanted applications. That would be adware. Things like that. So uh, the install process, I, I've installed this a, a few times. It's pretty fast. Um, this is a virtual machine, so it's going to be a little bit slower, but yeah. Okay, installation has been completed. Hang on a sec. All right. We'll go ahead and hit finish. Minimize that. So I'm going to be using a, a trial version. If you buy this, you'll actually have you know a username, password. Whenever you set this up, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to activate a trial. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to put in. Uh, you know what? I'll put in my wife's email address. Uh, I don't know. Actually, I can't remember which email address I have registered. Haven't registered. Let's say appointments. Appointments. At remove dash malware dot com. Let's see if I can just copy and paste that. It's too much. All right. We'll say Missouri. That's where I'm from. United States. Activate. 
Activation completed. So I got a 30 day trial. And they have a few links here like ESET, not antivirus, what's new. Um, you can go ahead and contact customer care, all that stuff. Stuff that we don't need to do right now. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to let it do is obviously it goes right to the update. It's smart enough to say, okay, I need to update. So we'll go ahead and let it do its update. If we click the little update button, you can watch it do that. We'll see how long this process takes. The next uh, ESET Nod 32 video will be um, Nod's prevention abilities, how well it can prevent your PC from getting infected. That is next. So I've never really paid attention to how long this takes. I don't think it takes that long. Yeah, it's already it's done. Update is not necessary. It's already up to date. We get a little message saying we're up to date now. So now let's go ahead and jump right into how we should configure this guy. Let's go right down to enter advanced setup. It's pretty straightforward. Um, almost anybody can figure this out. You want to go under real time. Um, file system protection. That's what really protects you. That's the antivirus. It's always running down there in the corner. Go ahead and click setup. And this is where I start uh, checking, checking certain things. Runtime packers. I have never had to check that before and it does actually affect your computer so I do not check it. So I'll leave that unchecked. I just want to show you that message. Uh, right here, advanced heuristics. Uh, again, I usually check that guy. I have had no trouble with that. I've got a few businesses running on that setting. Cleaning, I just leave that alone. Extensions, scan all files. And that's it. I mean, that's how quick that one is. So I'll say OK. Um, advanced setup, I don't think I have to do anything there. On demand computer scan. These looks like the it looks like these are pretty much all set up in this version. You might want to say pre preserve last um, access time scan stamp so you don't have to actually rescan the entire computer. If you want to save some time, we'll say okay. see document protection I have never really configured that I've always left that alone startup scan this is when your computer starts starts what do you want it to do and again that's pretty much set up we don't even have to do anything idle state scanning I would say yeah if your computer's not doing anything why not Let's go ahead and set that up. It's probably the same thing. Yeah. And we'll say that and that. Okay, removable media. I would say automatic device scan. You always want to scan removable media. Um, let's go under hips. Uh, there's no rules that I would configure out of the box for this. I would just leave it enabled. Uh, let's see. Notify when changes occur and startup applications. Yeah, I would kind of like to know that. Game remote. I'm not going to worry about that. So under web and email, if you have Outlook on your computer, you can pay attention to all this stuff, but we're not. Um, it's pretty straightforward, though. So you, you can read all that stuff right there. Again, these options, the threat sense engine is just pretty much the same thing over and over again. And web protection, that's important. Let's see, what are we scanning? Same thing. Okay. It's just reading from one central thing, I think. Protocol filtering. Enable HTTP checking on those ports. Okay. 
it really, it just, you know, they really just have the whole thing set up for you right out of the box. And that's what it comes down to. So I guess a little bit of anti-phishing there. Update settings. Uh, this is where you would actually have to put in your username and password. Um, I, you, you may have to re-enter this in sometimes. I've had to do that um, at a couple of businesses. So you can actually specify some advanced uh, update stuff here, but uh, I don't have to. Okay, update rollback. So if you get an update and it actually is not good, you can roll back to a previous definition. So that's good to have, definitely. All right, under tools, they got a lot of stuff. You can check out your log files, set up your proxy server, look at your quarantine. Um, you take a look at your ESET live grid. Uh, system updates. This will actually tell us if we have critical Windows updates that are not there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to go over everything here. Oh, I missed one, a big one. Antivirus and anti-spyware. Up here at the top, enable detection of potentially unsafe applications. You want that checked. All right. So let's go ahead and close that. And let's take a look at how much RAM it's actually using. This is while the computer's just kind of sitting idle. This is on a Windows 8 box. So let's see, we have the ESET. Let's see if we can arrange these by name or something. Okay. Um, ESET service, we got 81.4 megabytes. ESET main GUI, six. So around 100 megabytes of RAM. Yeah, not too much. Nothing these days. I mean, it is nothing. So if we start to scan, what does our CPU do with our current configuration? We'll right click our C drive and scan with NOD 32. Let's take a look at this. All right, so it's using a hefty amount of the CPU. That's good. You want the scan to get done. And memory wise, Still hanging around that 100 meg mark. And it doesn't use all your CPU, but um, uses a fair amount while it's doing that scan, and that's good. I'd actually, you know, I wish wish it would use 100%. That'd be awesome. Uh, get done much faster. So it is a quick scanner. There are no files on this computer, though. So it should power through this thing pretty fast. But... Right out of the box, configuring ESET NOD32 is a piece of cake. I mean, you really hardly have to do anything. There's a few check marks here and there. They really have the thing kind of just ready to roll right away. So, all right. Well, that's the end of this video. Nice and quick. I have to get on to another video, which is uh, can ESET protect you against malware? So we're going to try that next.